since we talked about the pandemic, seems like the world has moved on, and it has, except for one country, the home country of the Wuhan virus. It is the very picture of chaos. China is struggling, and how? I'm going to show you a video, and let me say that it's disturbing. We advise viewer discretion. <laughs> believed to be from Shanghai, a healthcare worker violently enforcing quarantine orders. Is it a crime to be a COVID patient? In China, it seems it is. China is going through a pandemic nightmare. New cases are being reported. Millions have been put in quarantine. There's a shortage of food. There is panic buying. There's a lot of suffering. And making it worse is the Communist Party. They've imposed draconian measures. Patients are being forced into quarantine. People are dying due to lack of care. Little children are being separated from their families. The public anger is growing. And it's usually difficult to gauge public sentiment on the mainland. People do not speak up in China. When they do, they face a crackdown. China does not put up with dissent, and we know that. And yet, news has a way of coming out sooner or later. Same with the suffering of the Chinese people. Tonight, we will show you five videos to sum up how China is punishing its people after failing to control the Wuhan virus. And we'll start with Shanghai, the world's biggest hotspot right now. Right now. That's Shanghai for you. More than 20 million citizens are under lockdown. Local authorities are struggling. A few days ago, the army was deployed in Shanghai. That's how bad the situation is. The city's healthcare system has collapsed, but China is still sticking to the zero COVID rule, the one that has seen zero success. Zero COVID means mass testing. Zero COVID also means tough quarantine, and it is not delivering. The virus is still spreading. So what does China do? Zero tolerance. That's their new mantra, punishing the people for contracting the virus. Let me show you how. This is video number one. Again, this is believed to be from Shanghai. People are being forced into centralized quarantine facilities. Healthcare workers in PPE kits are picking them up and forcing them into isolation. Once again, we advise viewer discretion. <laughs> being shoved into buses like they're criminals. Now, we don't know if they tested positive, but they were being taken to a quarantine facility. To call this inhumane would be an understatement. China was unable to contain the Omicron outbreak, and now the people of Shanghai are paying for the government's failure. Now, in the quarantine centers, the situation is hardly any better. There's chaos. This is video number two. We received this one earlier today. It is from a quarantine site in Shanghai. People here were fighting for supplies. What are they fighting for? Basic needs, stuff like blankets, food, even water. Residents of Shanghai have lodged complaints now, and we've accessed one such complaint. This is a woman talking about the same quarantine site that you just saw. Her mother was admitted there. Let me quote from what she said. My mom tested positive and was at home for a week, laying low, and she recovered. Yet they, recl they recklessly took her away. When she arrived, she had to snatch a room for herself. Nothing was fixed. People who tested positive and negative all mixed together. There was no hot water, no healthcare workers, no nurses. There was nothing. People had to fight over food and water. The chaos and the confusion was over the limit. Like we told you before, it's a nightmare. And some people are now off openly defying rules. This is video number three. It shows a man walking on the streets of Shanghai. He defied the law. He stepped out without a mask. Now look at what they did to him. <laughs> The man was
was hauled into a police vehicle and taken away. He was accused of violating pandemic prevention rules. Taking off the mask may not be the best way to protest, we agree, but the Chinese people say they've had enough. Here is another one, video number four. It's of an old man defying lockdown orders. Clearly, people are losing patience. I'll come to our fifth and final video for tonight. It shows a woman shouting and complaining about the restrictions. That's what happens when people lose faith in their government. Defying rules in China can cost you a lot. Yet these people have been pushed to the end of their teeth. We hope they can recover safely. And we must say, this is the same China that has repeatedly declared success over its homemade virus. The same China that has been telling the world to follow its playbook. Today, it stands exposed. The Wuhan virus is out of control and the zero COVID strategy is a big flop. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.